Good morning. So, wait muna tayo ng other viewers before we start. So, we'll start at 11 a.m. po. Comment po your location below para po ma-acknowledge ko po kayo. <laughs> Hello, sir. Robbie Ram. Good morning po. Teacher A, good morning. Good morning, Ma'am Lindy from Kuwait. Good morning. Good morning, Kuwait. <laughs> Uy, Abu Dhabi, good morning. Good morning, Abu Dhabi. Hello, everything. Sir Well Atun. Miss you, sir. So, kamusta naman po tayo dyan? Sana po safe po tayo from COVID. So, stay healthy. Sana po nasa mabuti po tayong kalagayan. Good morning. Sir Raymer from Zamboanga City. Good morning po. Medyo may kainitan po ano? So stay hydrated din po tayo. Inuminom po tayo ng water. So, dun sa other viewers po, comment po your location below para ma-acknowledge po. Sir Jonald, Jonald from Coronadal City. Good morning. Coronadal City, Cotabato. Yun. So our topic po for today will be um, on probability and statistics, specifically po mean median mode po. No? So madali lang po yung topic, so i-refresh lang po natin yung memories po natin about po dito sa basic um, probability and statistics. 
Okay, hello po sa mga followers natin from Cebu, Cebu City. So, maayong, ano nga ba yun? <laughs> maayong buntag, tama ba yun? Maayong buntag po sa inyo, mga followers from Cebu and Zamboanga. So, hello po sa mga followers ni Teacher A from Cebu City and Zamboanga City. Hello po. So, ang dami pala nating followers from Legaspi and South Cotabato. Yan, sa mga part na yan ng Pilipinas. Hello po, good morning po. Maayong buntag po sa inyong lahat. Pagadian City. So, antay lang po tayo ng konti pang viewers para po mag-start na po tayo. Uh, yes, sir. May mga overseas po tayong ano, no? followers. So, from Middle East po, ano? Ang dami nating nakita. So, good morning po sa inyo mga kabayan. So, po sa ibang bansa. So, keep, uh, stay healthy po, ano? Hmm. So, from Middle East, we'll take special licensure examination for teachers din. So, good luck po mga teachers. So, kaya po natin ito. Kagaya po ng kakayanin natin ng COVID, kakayanin din po natin ang LET. Kayang-kaya nyo po yan mga teachers. Hello po, Sir Rans from Lipa City. Good morning, Sir. Hello po, Sir Eugene. From what po kayo? From what location po kayo, Sir? Ma'am Nanette of Davao del Norte. Hello po.
Huwantay lang po tayo ng konti, no? Before we start po. So, konting background lang po pala about me. So, I'm Engineer Joanna Marie Baroro Banasihan po. I'm a licensed electronics engineer. So, I took up my board exam um, way back 2010. So, yun po. So, 20, uh, 10 years ago. So, 2020 na po ano. So, masyadong matagal na po pala. Um, but, nag-start po ako magturo ng engineering students, ng basic mathematics po, like algebra, trigonometry, um, analytic geometry, uh, differential and integ integral calculus, at saka ito po, probab probability and statistics po, noong January 2011. So, yun po, nag, uh, turo po ako ng college engineering students. So, hello po, Ma'am Catherine from Isugao. Hello po, Ma'am. Hello po sa mga taga Cebu. Maayong buntag po. Okay po, so let's start. So probability and statistics po ang ating topic for today. So specifically po, yung measures of central tendency. So meron po kung naaalala po natin, yun po ay mean, median, and mode. Tapos dinagdag ko na lang din po yung range kasi madali lang naman po yun. Okay? So basically talaga madali lang po itong mean, median, and mode. So, medyo malilito lang po siguro tayo, which is which. So, which is for uh, formula for median, for mean, or for mode, no? So, that's why nandito po tayo para i-refresh po natin yung ating memory about uh, these basic measures of central tendency. Yes po, ma'am. So, we will uh, take up mean, median, and mode. Okay, good morning po, Mama Maria Carmela Solomon Abad. Shout out po para sa mga taga Aguilar, Pangasinan. So, good morning po. Okay, so yun po, no? So, start na po natin. So, start natin with the definition. So, tingnan po natin ang definition ng bawat isa. So, mean. Mean is the total of all the values divided by the number of values. Okay, so add lang po all the numbers in the set of numbers, then divide it by the number of values. Median. So, median is the middle number in the list of numbers ordered from smallest to greatest or vice versa. So, Pag sinabing median, it is the middle number. But, dapat kailangan naka-order yung mga number from smallest to greatest or kung gusto mo naman, largest to smallest. Bahala po tayo doon. It depends upon us po kung anong gusto nating um, arrangement ng numbers. Basta dapat i-arrange siya before getting the middle number. Okay? So, yun yung important uh, na dapat tandaan sa median. So, si mode... Mode naman po is the value that appears most often in a set of data. So, yung value doon sa isang set of data na palaging lumalabas. So, yun po yung mode. And then range. 
So it's the difference between the lowest value and the highest value. So do sa isang set, kunin mo lang yung highest value, kunin mo yung lowest value, subtract mo. Yun na yung range niya, no? Yun. And then, so eto yun, yung mean, median, and mode po, yun ay measures of central tendency. So ano ba yun? Yung measures of central tendency, so yun yung uh, we used a, uh, one number. So yung one number na yun can be the mean, the median, or the mode. So we use this one number to represent a set of number. So yung set of number, pwede yung ano yun? Pwede yung grades ng students nyo po. So pwede yung age ng COVID patients. Pwede rin um, height or weight ng mga tao sa isang specific na lugar. So, depende po yan. Marami po tayong pwedeng maging set of numbers. So, si mean, median, and mode, measures of central tendency. So, siya yung nagre-represent. Siya yung isang number na pwedeng mag-represent no? isang set of numbers. Halimbawa, uh, yung mean. Oh, so, meron tayong examples pala dito para mas madali nyo mag-gets. Okay? So, in simpler terms po, ang mean, median, and mode, para mas madali po nating matandaan, so mean is just the average. So, kung medyo na, na uh, hindi nyo maalala yung mean, yun lang po yung average. So, average, di ba? Madali lang po yan. I-add lang po natin lahat ng numbers divided by the number of numbers dun sa isang set. So, si median, madali lang tandaan, ang keyword lang dyan, middle. So, median, middle. Mean, average. Tapos si mode, ang, uh, para matandaan ko si mode, mode is yung trending. So, pag sinabing trending, di ba, maraming, maraming gumagaya. Uh, maraming gumagawa. Maraming kumakain. Uh, maraming umiinom, di ba? Nung nag-trending ang milk tea, Madaming, nagsulputan po na milk tea shops. So, ganun po, trending or yung mode. So, yung range naman, range is the span or scope. Okay, so range, span or scope. So, for example, eto po yung set of numbers natin. So, simplihan lang po natin. Uh, meron tayong 1, 2, and 3. So, meron tayong ilang numbers. So, 3 sa isang set. So, kunin natin yung average. So, average, you just add the three numbers. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 6. And then, divide it by kung ilan yung number natin sa set. So, we have three numbers then. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, yun. Yun na po yung mean natin. ba? Sobrang simple lang po. Uh, the numbers divided by the number of numbers, mean, or the average. Okay, next po is the median. Median, pag sinabing median, middle. So, meron po tayong tatlong numbers. So, sa tatlong numbers na yan po, ano po yung nasa gitna? So, yun po ay number 2. So, since naka-arrange naman po siya from least to greatest, so, kunin lang po natin yung middle number no? Set. So, yun ay number 2. Tapos, yung mode. Yung mode, ano daw po yung mode? Yung trending, yung umuulit. Mad madaming umulit na number dun sa isang set. So, by inspection po, ano pong mapapansin natin? Meron po bang umulit? Meron po bang umulit na number? So, wala po, di ba? Ang uh, number 1, once lang siya nag-appear. Number two, once. And number three, once lang din siya nag-appear. So, ano pong masasabi natin? We can say that there is no mode or mode is equal to none. Okay? So, this is this set is said to be non-modal. So, wala po tayong mode. Okay? Next po yung range. So, hanapin natin yung range or yung span or yung scope ng ating set. So, dun sa 1, 2, 3, hanapin lang po natin yung largest number, which is 3. And then the smallest number, which is 1. So, subtract lang po natin sila. So, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So, yun po. Yun na po yung range natin, 2. 
Okay? So, madali lang po ba? Kayang-kaya po? Mga chairs, kayang-kaya po ano? Ayan po. So, after po pala ng discussion, so meron po tayong um, 20 questions dun sa drill. So, I expect po na mag-participate po tayo by commenting your answers uh, below. Okay? So, makinig po sa discussion and then later, answer po tayo ng drills. Okay? Madali lang po din yung mga nasa drill. Okay? So, next po. Okay. So, uh, I'll give you more examples pa po, no? Para ma-master po natin ito. So, try nyo din pong magsagot habang nagla-live po tayo. So, ito po, uh, sample number one. Ito po yung set of numbers. Okay, so dito po sa set of numbers, meron po tayong 12, 7, 14, 5, 7, 11, and 9. Okay, so una po natin kukuhanin is the mean. So ang ginagawa ko po kasi, kung kukuhain ko na yung mean, median, and mode ng isang set of numbers, sa simula pa lang po, ina-arrange ko na siya from least to greatest or from greatest to least. Para po kapag uh, nag-solve na ako for median, hindi ko na siya i-arrange. At saka po para sa mode, mas madali po kasing makita yung median and mode kapag naka-arrange na siya from least to greatest or from greatest to least, no? So, example, ito po sa 12, 7, 14, 5, 7, 11, and 9. So, arrange po muna natin siya from least to greatest na lang po ano para mas madali. Okay? Okay. So, we have 5. 7, 7, 9, 11, 12, and 14. So, kailangan i-double check natin. Ano? Kasi po, pag meron tayong isang number lang na na-miss, so, mamamali na, po na, mamamali na po lahat ang ating mean, median, and mode. So, double check po natin. May isang 5, dalawang 7, 9, 11, 12, and 14. So, okay. Wala tayong na-miss. Okay? So, kunin po natin ang mean. So mean, add lang po natin lahat ng numbers. So 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 12 plus 14. Then, divide it by, so kung ilan numbers. So binilang ba natin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So merong 7 na number. So we divide it by 7. So 65 over 7 po ang mean or... 9.285714 Okay. 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 Mean. Okay. So, dun sa choices nyo kapag nandun na kayo sa exam, so, depende kung anong, kung ilang digits yung gusto po nila, no? So, pwedeng maging ang mean natin ay 9.28 or 9.3, depende po kung i-round off ba natin siya so, uh, dun sa choices kung saan po ang nearest place number. So, median. So, may nakikita akong mga nagsagot ng median na 9. So, okay. So, si median, so, madali lang, di ba? Pagtingin pa lang natin, in-inspect natin dun sa pag-a-arrange natin, kuha na agad natin na ang median ay tama po kayo ay 9. Okay. So, bakit nangyari yon? So, kukuhain lang po natin yung middle number. So, kung meron po tayong 7 numbers, ano po ang middle niya? So, ang middle niya po is the fourth, fourth term. Okay? So, fourth term from pinakamaliit na number or fourth term from pinakamalaking number. Wala pong problema doon. So, in this case po, 9. Yung fourth number. Okay? So, ang ginagawa ko naman po sa median, kahit hindi ko na po bilangin kung alin yung pang, uh, pang middle na number, ang ginagawa ko po ay nag-e-elimination po ako. Pagka na-arrange ko na siya from least to greatest, so 
ine-eliminate ko po yung first number. Pag nag-eliminate ako ng first number, i-eliminate ko rin po yung last number. So, second number, eliminate ko naman din yung second to the last number. Then, the third number. Tapos, yung second to, uh, third to the last number. So, para pag may natira pong isa, yun na po yung ating median. So, the median is 9. Okay po? Tama po ba ang mga sagot natin? Okay, ang bibilis po natin. Ang gagaling po, ang gagaling naman po nating lahat. Okay, good job po. Median is 9. So, bakit parang walang nagsasagot ng mean? Puro median and mode po ang sinasagot natin kasi mabilis pong tignan, ano? Huwag lang po tayong... Uh, yung nag-carried away po tayo sa pagsasagot. Nakita lang po natin yung number. Tapos tinignan natin, aha, ang gitna niya is 5. So, 12, 7, 14, 5, 7, 11, 9. Gitna, 5. So, mamamali po tayo noon, no? So, kailangan po arrange muna. Okay? Huwag po tayong magmamadali na, ah, median, middle, gitna agad. Okay? So, kailangan pa rin po i-arrange. Yun po ang wag na wag kakalimutan sa median. Okay, si mean okay lang kahit hindi mo ma-arrange eh, kasi you just add up all the numbers and then divide it. Pero median, important po is the arrangement. Okay? Next po is mode dahil magagaling naman po tayo. Nakita po natin by inspection kasi po sa mode madali din po tayo mag-inspect kung naka-arrange na po siya from least to greatest or from greatest to least. So in this case, kitang-kita naman po na ang umulit na number ay number 7. So, the mode is 7. Okay? So, nakuha po naman. Okay. Okay. So, si range. Meron na rin po mga nagsasagot ng range. Okay. Tama po. Ma'am Lindy, mode is 7. Ma'am Jeneline, mode is 7. Okay. Very good. Okay. Good job po. Good job po sa ating lahat. Okay. So, tama naman po. Then, last yung range. So, madali lang din po ang range, ano? So, get lang po natin ang highest na number at saka ang lowest na number. Then, we just subtract. So, the range is equal to 9. So, sa range, mas madali din po natin makuha yung highest and lowest kung naka-arrange na po siya, no? Kesa po yung gulo-gulo pa yung number, saka mo pa hahanapin. Okay? So, yun po. Next. <laughs> Sample problem number two, dahil magagaling po tayo, okay? Sagot naman po tayo sa mean, ha? Huwag po agad median and mode. So, ito naman po. Sige po, try po natin. Okay, good job po tayong lahat. Okay, so yan, naiintindihan po natin lahat. Tama po. Range is nine, range is nine, very good. Very good. Sir Charlie, range is 9 po. Okay, correct. Joe Ara, range is 9, correct. Ma Maria Carmela, range is 9, correct. Range is 9, difference of 14 and 5, correct. Okay. So, mean is adding, then divide. But okay, correct. Very good po. So far, naiintindihan naman po natin lahat. Okay? Dahil madali naman po ang topic na ito. Okay? Next po, ito po. Sa bagong set ng numbers. Ano po ang ating mean? So first, inarrange ko po muna ano, para mas madali po. So, 2, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and 10. Okay? So wala naman po tayong na-miss. So, we double check lang po. Okay. And then we add. So, 2 plus 2 is 4. Plus 3. 7. 10. 17. 4. Okay. So, we have 42 divided 8. Okay. Ayan. May mga magkakaiba na ng sagot. O. Oh. 42 over 8 is? 5.25. Okay, so the mean is 5 point, okay, correct, 5.25 po ang mean. So, correct po tayo, ma'am, feel. 
Okay. Okay, good job. Next, median. So, median. Paano po ito? So, ilan po ba yung numbers natin dito sa set na to? Ilan po? So, we have how many numbers in this set? So, we have 8. Tama po. Okay, so we have 8 numbers. So, paano po ito? Even number po siya. Pag add number, madali lang po. Tama? Kasi may middle siya eh. How about this po? Pwede bang yung comma? Tama ba? Ito, itong comma. Ma'am, yung comma po yung nasa ano, middle. So, syempre, hindi naman po yun. Ano? So, ano pong gagawin natin? Ayan, ang dami ng iba-iba ang median. Oh. Merong nagsasabi 7.5, may nagsasabi 8. So, ano po ang median? Sa palagay po natin, comment po kayo. Tignan po natin yung idea natin. So, may nagsasabing median is 5. May nagsasabing 7. Yung iba, 7.58. So, paano nyo na po nakuha yun? Median is 5 daw po. Okay, gusto nyo pong malaman. Paano po ang gagawin natin sa median? Paano ang isolve ang median kung even number? Even number po ang set natin. So, first, anong gagawin? Yung tinuro ko kanina, elimination. Okay, so mag-eliminate tayo ng... So, eliminate muna natin yung first and last. Tapos, second and second to the last. Third and third to the last. Kapag ginawa natin yun, may matitirang dalawang number. Hindi lang isang number. So, dalawang number. Okay? Pag po even number, ang gagawin po natin, dun sa dalawang number na nasa middle, so, kukunin po natin yung average or yung mean nilang dalawa. Okay? So, you, we add 5 plus 5, since sila yung nasa middle, and then we divide it by 2. So, the median is 5. Okay. Okay, good job po. Ayan. Okay. Okay po. Ayan. So, ganun po ano, kapag po hindi add number, kapag even number po ang ating set, ganun po ang gagawin. Get the two middle number, then get its mean. Or i-average po natin to get the median. So, malinaw naman po ano. Okay. So, the answer is 5, correct? Correct po, Sir Charlie, Ma'am Nanette, Ma'am Jeneline. Okay. Good job po. Yes, Sir Eugene, visible po kayo from Katarman. Hello po. Okay. So, mode. So, mas madali pong i-inspect ang mode kung naka-arrange na po tayo from least to greatest. So, ano pong mapapansin natin? So, dalawang beses pong umulit si number two. Pero, dalawang beses din pong umulit si Number 5. Okay, so pwede po 'yun. Pwede pong meron tayong dalawang mode. Modes. May dalawa po tayong modes dito sa set na 'to. Okay? So mode is equal to 2 and 5. Okay, correct. Ma'am Phil, correct. Ma'am Jeneline, okay, correct. 2 and 5, 5 and 2. Okay. Good job po. Okay. Okay po. Gagaling po. So next, range. So si range, mas madali din pong makuha ang range kung naka-arrange na siya from least to greatest or from greatest to least. We just get the largest number which is 10 and then the lowest number which is 2. And then we just subtract. Okay? So range is equal to 8. Number 8. Okay? 
Okay, correct si Ma'am Nenet. Okay, tawag din po doon ay bimodal kasi meron po tayong dalawang modes. So, kung tatlo yun, syempre trimodal naman po. Ano? Kapag wala, non-modal. Okay, correct. Okay. So, napakasimple po. Ano? So, kayang-kaya nyo pong ma-perfect ang drill natin. Okay? Ready na po ba sa drill? Oh, ready na po ba tayo sa drill? Sige, wait ko po ang inyong mga sagot. So, review po ulit natin. Ano? Mean, add all the numbers and divide it by all. Uh, divide it by the number of numbers dun sa set. Then, median, the middle number na dapat naka-arrange from least to greatest. Mode, yung trending, yung umuulit. Yung pinakamaraming number dun sa isang set. Okay, so yun po ang mode. Okay, tas si range naman, get the largest number, subtract it to the smallest number in the set, yun na po ang range natin. Or span, or scope. Okay? Okay, so wait lang po natin yung iba na mag-yes para start na po natin yung drill. Okay? So madali lang po ba? Kayang-kaya po ano? Mga ma'am, sir, mga chairs, kayang-kaya? Okay po, dun po sa drill natin, hindi po lahat ay computation. So, meron din po tayong isisingit na mga uh, parang objective na type, no? Okay. So, ready na po? Okay, number one. Okay, so number one. Which measure or measures of central tendency can be determined by mere inspection? So, alin daw uh, measure of central tendency na yung pagkita mo pa lang dun sa set of numbers, pwede mo nang makuha agad. Okay? So, first, letter A, median. Letter B, mode. Letter C, mean. Or letter D, mode and median. Okay, so let me know your answers. Comment your answers below po. Okay, so sabi nila po ay mode. Mode. May nagsasabi din na D. Okay, so magkaibang sagot. So ibig sabihin may... May tumatama, may mali. So, may magkakaiba na po tayo ng sagot. Okay? So, tignan natin. Si Sir Eugene, sabi niya is mode. Ma'am Jeneline, sabi ay mode. So, Jonah, sabi ay mode. Ma'am Jeneline daw ay letter D, mode and median. Ma'am Maria Carmela, mode and median. Ma'am Cherry, mode. Okay, so nahahate. Ay, may nagsabi pa ng C, mean. Okay, so walang sumagot ng median. Median lang, letter A. Maraming sagot ay B or D. So gusto niya na bang malaman ang tamang sagot? Okay, the correct answer is? Okay, ano kaya? Meron pa ba ang hahabol? B, okay. So the correct answer is? Letter D, median and mode. Okay. So, pag tinignan, walang computation, kuha agad. Diba? Si median pwede rin eh. Kapag, lalo na pag add. Diba? Isang tingin pa lang. Ganyan. So, ang kinoconsider nating sagot is mode and median. Okay. Si mode. Si mode talaga. Kasi, diba? Pag tingin mo pa lang, kita mo na kung ano yung pinakamarami. Si median, tingnan mo, middle, yun na yung median. Okay, so answer is mode and median. Letter D po ang sagot, mode and median. Okay, next, number two. The most frequent score in a distribution is the blank. So, ang keyword po dyan ay the most frequent. Ay, siguro wala nang magmamali dito. Okay, so A, mode, B, mean, C, midpoint, or D, median. Okay. Sir Lan, sabi ay mode. 
Sa number 2 na tayo ha, number 2 na po tayo. Okay. Sir Rance, ang sabi niya is mood. Sir Jonald, I mood. Ma'am Carmela is a mood, okay. So puro mood. Ah, na, si Ma'am Lindy, ang sabi niya naman ay letter B, which is mean. Si Ma'am Yan, sabi ay mood. Mood, okay. Mood. Hmm. Halos lahat po ay mood ang sinasabi, no? Okay, letter A, mood. So, ano po ang key keyword natin? Most frequent. Palagi. Yung mas madami na nakikita dun sa distribution. Most frequent. Yun ay mood. Okay. Okay. Majority naman po is tama yung sagot natin, ano? Okay, good job. Good job, shares. Okay. Next po tayo. Next number, number three. Okay. In a positively skewed distribution, the following statements are false. Except. Okay. So, in, the, in a positively skewed distribution, the following statements are false. Except. So, ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap natin yung true. <laughs> okay. So, A. Median is lower than the mode. Letter B, the mean is higher than the median. Letter C, the mode is lower than the mean. Letter D, mean is not lower than the mode. Okay, so medyo mahirap po ito, no? Kasi may mga skewed-skewed na sinasabi. So, skewed meaning um, na-distort siya from its normal Uh, distribution. So, para po masagot natin itong number 3, so bigyan ko po kayo ng figure. Okay? So, ayan. So, kung may kita nyo po, dalawa yan. Yung isa, negatively skewed. Yung isa, positively skewed. So, kapag negatively skewed, to the left, yung, yung pagka-distort niya from the original value, ay from the normal distribution, is to the left. So, negatively skewed. Kapag naman positively skewed, yung skewness, so, right skewed naman siya. Okay? So, yan. Yeah. Base dyan sa figure, ano po, makukuha nyo po yung sagot. So, wag nyo pong pansinin yung nasa uh, negatively skewed. Sa positively skewed lang po tayo mag-focus. Kasi yun yung nasa tanong. Okay? So, iba-iba ang sagot. Sige po. Ano pong sagot nyo sa number 3? So, may nagsasabi ng C. Okay. Yung true ha. Ang hinahanap po natin ay true kasi lahat daw yan ay false. So, may isa lang po dyan na true. Ang doon po tayo mag-base sa positively skew na graph. So, yung mode ay nasa peak, median, and mean. So, ibig sabihin, yung mode yung pinakamataas na value, then yung median, then yung mean. Okay? So, ano po? Dami po. Iba-iba na po na ang sagot natin. May tumatama na ba? May nakikita naman akong tama. Okay? Okay. So, the answer is... Hmm, ayun, sabi ni Teacher A, lumalabas daw ito, mga, etong tanong na ito. Oh. Okay, so the answer is A. So median is lower than the mode. Oh, so makikita naman po natin doon sa graph ng positively skewed, di ba? Yung mode yung nasa pinaka-peak. So, Yung median nasa lower than the mode. Kung yung B, mean is higher than the median, hindi po mali po yun dahil ang median ay mas mataas sa mean. Si letter C naman, mode is lower than the mean. So, mali naman po yun dahil si mode nga po ang pinakamataas. Then letter D, mean is not lower than the mode. Oh, so, it parang letter C lang din yun eh, yung ibig sabihin ng letter D. No, so, the answer is, ang true po dyan is letter A. So, the median is lower than the mode. Kapag po may na-encounter po kayong ganitong klase ng tanong, tandaan nyo po ito, itong graph na ito. 
So, negatively skewed at saka positively skewed. Okay? Okay. So, number four po tayo. Okay. So, the distribution of a class with academically poor students is most likely, letter A, normally distributed, letter B, skewed to the left, Letter C, skewed to the right. Letter D, symmetrically distributed. Okay. So, may kinalaman po ulit yan dun sa graph. Okay. So, sige po. Tingnan ko po yung mga sagot po ninyo. Ano? So, number four. The distribution. Ano daw pong masasabi natin sa distribution of a class with academically poor. So, ibig sabihin, uh, mabababa ang nakukuha. No? Nice scores. So, academically poor student is more, most likely, most likely, ano po kaya? So, tingnan ko po ang inyong mga comment. So, may nagsasabi ng letter C to the right. Letter C to the right, okay. Letter D, symmetrical. Okay, so mostly C ang sabi. Meron din nagsasabi ng B. Okay. So, para po masagot ulit natin itong number four question, so, meron po tayo ulit na graph. Okay? So, yan. Pagkita nyo po dyan, alam nyo na po ang sagot. So, poor. Ibig sabihin, mabababa yung score. So, nasan po kaya siya nakaskewed? So, ang pamimilian nyo lang po dyan, either B or C. Okay? So, leaning saan kaya yung skewness niya? To the right or to the left? Poor. Ibig sabihin, mabababa ang score. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, it is skewed to the right. Okay. So, letter C po yung sagot natin. Kung mapapansin po natin, dahil yung mode, ibig sabihin ng mode, di ba, yung pinaka-frequent na lumalabas dun sa isang set. Ibig sabihin, ang baba ng mode, oh, mababa yung value. Marami, yung height niya is madami, pero ang value niya is mababa. So, maraming mabababa ang score na nakuha. So, yun ay academically poor students. So, skewed to the right or positively skewed. Okay, so yun po yung sagot natin. Okay, okay. Letter C. Okay. So, letter C po ang sagot, ano, to the right. Next, number five. Okay, in a normal distribution, which of the following is true? So, normal distribution, ibig sabihin, pag normal distribution, walang skewness. Hindi siya nag-skew to the left, hindi siya nag-skew to the right. Okay? So, normal distribution. So, ano pong masasabi natin? Ano daw po ang true? A, median is equal to mode and not equal to the mean. B, median is not equal to the mode and equal to the mean. C, median is not equal to the mode and not equal to the mean. Or letter D, median is equal to the mode and equal to the mean. Okay, so ano po ang inyong sagot sa number 5? Let me know your answers sa comments. Yes, tama si Ma'am Lori, poor students. Yung key kanina do sa number 4 na question. Pag sinabing poor students, to the... Right, yun yung key term, academically poor. Okay, so sa number five, number five na po tayo, may nagsasagot po ng letter D, letter A, letter C. So iba-iba po ang sagot natin. Number five, letter D, letter D, letter D. Marami nagsasabi ng letter D. Okay, letter D, letter C, letter D. Sige po, sagot lang po tayo. Then explain ko po kung anong sagot later. Letter D, okay. Letter A, letter B, letter D, D, letter D. Ang daming sumasagot po ng letter D, pero mer meron din po ko nakikita mga A, B, ayan, may pa konti kuting A. Ang daming D, <laughs> sobrang dami din pong D. Sir Robbie Ram. Letter B, may nagsabi naman po na letter B. Letter D, letter D. Sige po, answer po tayo. Okay. 
So, para masagot po natin itong number 5, ano? So, wala na bang magsasagot? Okay. So, tignan po natin itong graph nila. Okay. So, oh, alam nyo na po ba ang tamang sagot? Base po dito sa graph. Yung pong nasa pinakauna na figure, yun po ay normal distribution. Nasa gitna po. Ibig sabihin, nasa gitna po lahat. Ang mean, median, and mode niya po ay nasa gitna lahat. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? The answer is letter? Letter D. So, mean, uh, the mean, median, and mode are all equal. Okay? Kasi nasa normal distribution po tayo. Okay? Hindi po siya skewed to the left, hindi rin po siya skewed to the right. So, normal distribution, the mean, median, and mode are all equal. Okay? Okay po. Okay po, number six. Okay, so which among the measures of central tendency is not influenced by outliers? Okay. So, which among the measures of central tendency is not influenced by outliers? So, A mean, B weighted mean, C mode, D median. So, let me know your answers on the comment section. So, answer po tayo. Number six na po. So, antay ko po yung mga sagot ninyo. Okay, number six daw is letter A. A, D, the mean. May nagsasabing median. So, ano pong sagot natin? Mean, median, or mode? So, madami pong nagsasagot ng either A or D. So, may nagsasabi po ng mean, may nagsasabi po ng median. So, tingnan po natin. Sige po, sagot lang po tayo bago ko po i-reveal yung correct answer. Okay, so, D and A talaga ang naglalaban po, no? Si mean and median. So, kailangan kasi nating malaman ano ba yung outliers na sinasabi na yan. Okay? Para ma-answer natin itong question na to. So, ito po yung definition, no? So, outliers are numbers in a data set that are vastly larger or smaller than the values in the set. Okay? So, siya yung biglang laki. Kunwari, uh, merong ang set lang is... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, ganyan. Tapos may biglang 1,000. Okay, so ganun. Yun po yung ibig sabihin ng outliers. O kaya meron namang mga, ang set ay, kunwari, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, tapos yung isang number 5. Ganun. So yun po yun. Numbers in a data set that are vastly larger or smaller than the other values in the set. So hindi na po pwede ang mean. Kasi po, ang mean ay ina-add. So, kung may isang biglang laki or biglang maliit na number, so, maa-apektuhan po yung mean natin, ano? So, ang sagot po is median. So, letter D. So, yun po yung advantage ng median. The median is less affected by outliers and skewed data than the mean. Okay. Okay, correct po si ma'am. So, mean is affected by stream, extreme scores or outliers. Okay, correct. Okay. Okay, correct. Okay. So, ang sagot po is median kasi not influenced. Pag naman po sinabing greatly influenced by the outlier, so, yun yung mean. Yung sobrang maaapektuhan, si mean. Okay. So, pag not influenced, so, si median. Okay, next, number seven. O, ito po, meron na pong uh, counting computation. Okay. So, find the median of the set of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, madali lang po. Dahil naka-arrange na po, ano? 
So find the median po. Hi, so ito po yung choices natin, ano? So A is 55, B is 10, C is 1, B is 5.5. So, number 7 na po tayo. Sabi ni Ma, may nagsasabi po na 5. May nagsasabi naman na 5.5. Okay. 5. Okay. So, it's... Parang wala namang 5 dun sa choices. Dun lang po tayo sa choices magpili ng ating answer. Okay, ayan. Okay. Ayan, dumadami na po ang nagsasagot. Letter D, letter D. Okay, letter D. Letter D, majority po, letter D. Sir Chad, Ma'am Nanette. Okay. Ma'am Lori. Okay. So, solve po natin, ano? So, first, arrange the number. Kahit hindi naman po i-arrange, okay na po yan, no? Send. Ay, mali-mali. Dapat pala i-arrange. Akala ko min. Sorry, sorry. Median. So, hindi na kailangan i-arrange kasi naka-arrange na siya. Okay. So, then find the middle number or numbers. In this case, dahil 10 po yung numbers natin, so we find middle numbers. So, the middle numbers are 5 and 6. So, what will... Uh, ano na pong gagawin natin? We add 5 and 6 and then we divide it by 2 or we simply get the average of the middle numbers. So 5 plus 6 is 11. Divide it, uh, divide it by 2, we get 5.5. Okay, so simple lang po, no? median, madali lang po. Pag even number, get the two middle numbers, then get the average. Okay, so letter D, 5.5. Marami naman pong nakatama. Okay, sa so letter D. Okay. Number 8. The following numbers represent the ages of people on a bus. So, 3, 6, 27, 13, 6, 8, 12, 20, 5, and 10. So, calculate their mean Calculate the, mali ito. Calculate the mean of their ages. So, letter A, 11, B, 6, C, 9, or D, 110. Mean, ang hinahanap po natin ay mean or the average. Okay, let me know your answers on the comments. Number 8 po, nagsasagot pa po kayo ano, wala pang nagko-compute, mga nagko-compute pa po sila. So may nagsagot na po, ayan, ang bilis po mag-compute ni Ma'am Venus, sabi niya po ay letter A, Ma'am Jenilyn letter A din. Okay, si Sir Chad letter A. Yung iba po, hindi pa po tapos mag-compute. Okay, 11, letter A. Ayan, majority po, puro letter A po ang sagot. A po, okay. 11, letter A. 11, letter A. Majority po ay 11 kasi ang dali-dali naman po nitong minano. So, we add lang po all the numbers and divide it by how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Okay, the answer is 11. So, 110 divided by 10. So, 11. Okay. So, everybody got the correct answer naman po, I believe. Okay. 
Okay po. Good job po. Good job po mga chores. Moving on, number nine. So number nine, the following represents age distribution of students in an elementary class. Find the mode of the values. 7, 9, 10, 13, 11, 7, 9, 19, 12, 11, 9, 7, 9, 10, 11. So the choices are A7, B9, C10, So, mode naman po tayo. Okay. So, A7, B9, C10, D11. Okay. So, 9, letter B, 9, 9, 9, letter B. Okay. So, mode lang po ito. So, madali lang. By inspection lang po ano. Pero mas madali po kung naka-arrange na siya from least to greatest or vice versa para po ma dali nating i-identify yung mode. Okay, so ayan. Number 9. May nagsabi ng 11. Letter B. Okay. So, the answer is, okay, so simply find the most recurring number. So, the most occurring number in the series is, okay, so majority naman po ay nakuha ang correct answer. Okay, so mode, madali lang po yan. Kayang-kaya natin itong mga chores. Okay, number 10, nangangalahati na po tayo. Kaya pa po ba? Kaya pa po? Okay, number 10 po. Of find the median of the set of numbers 100, 200, 450, 29, 1029, 300, and 2001. So median. Is it A, 300, a B, 29, C, 7, or D, 4,080? Okay, so find the median. So to find the median, you should first arrange. Huwag po bigla-bigla na kunin yung gitna. Okay, so arrange muna po natin from least to greatest or vice versa. Huwag pong kakalimutan. Okay, and then double check po natin kung lahat ay naisulat po natin dun sa arrangement na ginawa natin. So, 300, 300. Okay, madami pong nagsasabi na 300 or letter A. Letter A. Letter A, 300. Letter A, letter A. Okay. Meron pa po bang hahabol? Okay, so sabi ni teacher A, no calculator allowed. Last let board exam. Okay. So, kailangan nating i-mental math po ito o kaya i-solve by hand. Okay. So, madali lang naman po dahil addition. Ang medyo may uh, challenge po is yung pag-divide ano kapag sa mean. Okay. So, buti na lang. Ito ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, by inspection lang. Wala na po tayong calculations na kailangan gawin. Ano? Dahil add number naman po ang total number dun sa isang set. Add ito sa set na to. Okay. So, the answer is first arrange the numbers in numerical sequence. So, 29, 100, 200, 300, 450, 1029, and 2001. Okay. So, by mere inspection, kitang kita po ah. Ang nasa middle po natin is... 300. So, therefore, the median is 300. Okay. So, 
lahat naman po ay nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Very good po mga chairs. Moving on, number 11. These numbers are taken from the number of people that attended a particular church every Friday for seven weeks. So 62, 18, 39, 13, 16, 37, and 25. So find the mean. So letter A, 25, letter B, 210, letter C, 62, Okay, so sabi din po ni Sir, uh, ni Teacher A, probability and statistic lumalabas daw sa Gen Ed at sa Prof Ed, most of, mostly siguro ay objective and situational questions. Okay. So answer po natin. Ano pong answer po natin? Letter A, 25. Letter B, 210. Letter C, 62. Or letter D, 30. Mean, ang kinukuha po natin, ang mean. So, we add all the numbers and divide it by 7. Kasi sabi niya, for 7 weeks, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. Okay. Okay. So, madaming sagot na letter D or 30. Okay. So, majority po ang sagot ay 30. Okay, tingnan po natin. So, we add all the numbers. 62 plus 18 plus 39 plus 13 plus 16 plus 37 plus 25 is equal to 210. We divide it by 7. So, 210 divided 7 is 30. So, buti na lang divisible siya by 7. So, 30. So, medyo kung hindi pwede yung calculator. So, medyo may challenge ang pag-add manually, ano? And then divide. Maswerte kung ganito, kagaya nito, 210 divide 7, so madali lang siyang i-divide kasi divisible siya by 7. Okay, so the answer is 30. So I think halos lahat po ay nakakuha ng correct answer. Okay po. Okay. Number 12. Find the mode. Okay, so mabilis lang po ito. Find the mode from these test results. 90, 80, 77, 86, 90, 91, 77, 66, 69, 65, 43, 65, 75, 43, and 90. Okay. So is it A, 43, B, 77, C, 65, or D, 90? Okay, bilis ni Sir Jason, sabi niya 90. Okay, letter D, 90. How about the others? Okay, comment your answers below para makita po natin kung ano po ang inyong sagot. Okay, Sir Jason, 90. Ma'am Janeline, 90. Is it Sir or Ma'am? Teb, letter D, Sir Jonah, let, uh, 90. Ma'am Venus, 90. Ma'am Cherry, 90. Sir Chad, letter D. Ma'am Lori, 90. Ma'am Lindy, letter D. Ma'am Yan, letter D. Sir Elgin, 90. Ma'am Ma Joara is letter D. Ma'am Jessica, 90. Okay, so... Lahat po kayo, ang sagot nyo is 90. So, kita-kita po ba? Mabilis po ba tignan? Okay. So, the most occurring number in the series is 90. Okay, good job. Konti na lang po, chores. Kapit lang po. Number 30 na po tayo. Find the mean of this set of numbers. So, 100, 1050, 320, 600, and 150. So, is it letter A, 333, letter B, 444, letter C, 440, 
or letter D, 320. So the mean, you just add it all up and divide it by uh, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 5. Okay. Kapag mean yung tanong, talagang matagal, ano po? So, tsaga lang po, madali lang naman po ang i-add dahil divisible by 10 naman po silang lahat. Okay, ayan, may mga sumasagot na po. Letter B. Letter B, si Sir Jason. Si Sir Jason, ang bilis niya talaga mag-compute. Then si Ma'am Jeneline, letter B. Hindi ko alam kung Sir or Ma'am si Ma'am or Sir Teb, letter B. Venus, Ma'am Venus, letter B. Sir Chad, letter B. Ma'am Lindy, letter B. Yin Yen, letter D. Sir Elgent, 444, okay. So, majority po ang answer nyo is letter B, 444. Okay. Which is the correct answer. So, we add it all up and we got uh, 2,220 and we divide it by 5. So, we get 444. So, the answer is letter B, 444. Okay. Good job po to ating lahat mga chairs. Okay. So, next, number 14. Malapit na po tayo. So, find the median. Okay. So, madali lang po. Median lang po ang hinahanap. So, find the median of the set of numbers. So, 21, 3, 7, 17, 19, 31, 46, 20, and 43. Again, median. Paulit-ulit po ako kasi po baka po kayo ay ma uh, ma-carried away na pagsasagot. Pagkita pa lang, kinuha agad yung middle number. Okay? So, first, pag median, remember to arrange them from least to greatest or from greatest to least. Depende po sa inyo before getting the middle number. If not, mali po ang inyong magiging sagot. Unless, matsambahan po natin na yung middle po no question na hindi arrange ay yun din talaga ang middle kapag inarrange. Okay? Okay, so ano pong sagot natin? Letter B po ulit, 20. Ang sabi nila, ang sabi po ni Sir Chad, letter B. Sir Jason, letter B. Ma'am Jeneline, letter B. Ma'am Jessica, letter B. Ma'am Jo Ara, letter B. Ma'am Jeneline, letter B. Ma'am Lindy, letter B. Sir Jonald, letter B or 20. Okay, yung iba po. Let me know your answers po. Okay, letter B po, si Sir Ike. Ma'am yan, letter B, okay. Letter B din. Letter, okay, number ah, 20, yin yen. Okay. Okay, so we arrange the numbers in a numerical sequence. 3, 7, 17, 19, 20, 21, 31, 43, and 46. So, what is the middle? Ano po ba ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9. Dahil add number, meron siyang middle number. Yung fifth number from the list or from the greatest. Basta yung gitna. The fifth number is 20. Okay. Good job mga chairs. Okay. So, 20 po yung correct answer. Number 15. Number 15 na po tayo. Find the mode. Okay. So, madali lang po. Inspection. Mabilis po tayo dyan sa pag inspect Ano? So, is it letter A, 15? Letter V, 11? Letter C, 17? Letter D, 19? Okay. Comment your answers below. Okay, so sabi, letter C daw, 17. Letter C, 17. Letter C, 17. Okay. Okay. Hmm, mamay ka, sabi niya si letter A. Sorry na po, Ma'am Chinita. Ma'am Chinita, ano pong sagot niyo? Oh, letter C, 17. 
Ma'am Chinita Bumanlag Sabado. Hello po, Ma'am. Na-acknowledge ko na po kayo. Sorry po. Okay. So, number 17 po ang inyong sagot. Okay. Letter C. Letter C. May nagsabi po na letter D, 19. Is it letter D, 19? Ma'am Jo Ara, number, uh, letter C, 17. Ma'am Lori, 17. Yin Yen, 17. Ma'am Jessica, 17. Okay. Okay. So, simply find the most recurring number. The most occurring number in the series is? Is what? 17. Okay. So, ilang beses po? How many times did 17 appear in this set? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, 4 times. So, si 15 kasi magkakatabi. Ay, magkakatabi. Magkakadikit. So, baka isipin mo agad. Ayun yung pinakamaraming number. So, is it, it's good na i-arrange muna siya from list to greatest para kita mo agad. So, si 15 is three times lang siyang nag-appear. Okay. So, be careful din po doon, no? Huwag tayo din biglang, ay, yung 15, tatlong beses kasi, ano sila, magkakadikit. Okay. So, 17 is the answer. Okay. Next church, number 16, find the mode. Okay. Favorite nyo ito, mode. Madali lang. Letter A, 12. Letter B, 10.5. Letter C, 11.5. D, none. Okay. Find the mode. Find the mode, guys. Okay. Ma'am Jenilyn, letter D. Sir Jason, letter D. Ma'am Chinita Sabado, what is your answer po? I will wait for your answer po, ma'am, ha? Okay. Mostly letter D. Letter D. Or none. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am Chinita. Bumanlag, Sabado. Ang sagot niyo po is none. Okay. Okay. Letter D, letter D, letter D. Okay. Okay. So, by inspection, wala pong umulit na number. Okay. So, there is no mode or this set is said to be non-moda. So, the answer is letter D. Okay. Very good. Very good, chairs. Okay. Number 17. Find the median from this set of numbers. A11, B11.5, C12, or D10.5. So, median. So, medyo baka matagalan kayo because uh, even number po siya. So, medyo may computation. Konting-konting computation lang po, ano? Okay. So, nagsosolve pa po ang mga teachers. Okay. So, find the median. So, first, arrange po muna natin mga chairs from least to greatest or greatest to least. Okay. Sir Jason, 11.5, letter B. Sir Chad, letter D, 10.5. So, ano kayong tamang sagot? Comment your answers below, mga chores. Sir Jonag, 11.5, letter B. Ma'am Janeline, letter B. Sir Marma, le um, letter A, 11. Ma'am Lori, 11, uh, letter A, 11. Ma'am Lindy, letter B. Ma'am Jessica, 11.5 Sir Ike letter B Yin Yen uh, 11 Mom Chinita 
Okay, so nahahati po ang ating sagot sa dalawa. So may nagsasabi po, uh, it's 11.5 at yung iba po ay 10.5. Okay, nagpalit ng sagot si Ma'am Chinita. Ma'am Chinita, from 10.5, ginawa niya 11.5 po yung sagot niya. Ma'am Maika, 11.5. Ma'am Jo Ara, letter B, 11.5. Okay. Okay, let's see the answer. So first, we arrange the numbers in numerical sequence. 2, 3, 9, 11, 12, 14, 16, and 17. So we have 11 and 12 middle numbers. As a middle number, so we get the mean or the average of 11 and 12. So 11 plus 12 divided by 2. So the answer is letter B, 11.5. Medyo nalito lang siguro sa computation yung nag 10.5. Ano? Okay. So number 18. Okay. Last 3 na po. 18, 19, and 20. Last 3 questions na po mga teachers para po tayo ay Matapos na. Okay, find the mean from this set of numbers. 12, 11, 17, 3, 9, 14, 16, and 2. So, mean. O, medyo magko-compute po tayo. So, is it letter A, 11? Letter B, 11.5? Letter C, 12? Or letter D, 10.5? So, we find the mean. We add all the numbers and we divide it by 8 because there are 8 numbers in this set. Okay. Sir Jason, letter D, 10.5. Si Sir Jason, sobrang bilis mag-compute. Okay. Sir Chad, letter D. Okay. 10.5 then. Ma'am Jenilyn, letter D. Sir Ike, letter D. Sir or ma'am, sir, ma'am, ma'am or sir, Ted, Teb, letter D, sir or ma'am, yin, yin, letter D, marma, letter D, 10.5, letter D, si ma'am Jessica, okay, 10.5. Okay. Explain the graph of positively. Okay, teacher A. Okay, in the last part, can you flash and explain the graph of positively and negatively skewed as re as re as requested of majority to five? Okay. So, later po, no, after natin sa number 20, flash lang po natin mabilis yung graph ulit ng positively and negatively skewed and explain lang po natin ng konti. Ano? Sige po. Okay. So, mean is we add it all up 12 plus 11 plus 17 plus 3 plus 9 plus 14 plus 16 plus 2 divided by 8 so we have 10.5 so majority naman got the correct answer okay moving on number 19 okay find the mode oh and dali lang po of this set of numbers mode lang po yan is it letter A, 1, B, 1 and 2, C, 1, 2 and 3, or letter D, none, or non-modal? Okay, chairs, number 19, answer po tayo. Comment your answers below. Is it 1, 1 and 2, 1, 2 and 3, or none? Okay, so may nagsasabi po na letter C. Letter V? Ma'am Chinita, letter V? Hanggang D lang po. A, B, C, D lang po. Wala pong V. Okay, may nagsasabing trimodal. May nagsasabing one. So, oh, so, so. Ano nga po ulit yung mode? Yung pinaka... Madalas, 
pinakamadaming lumabas na number dun sa set of numbers. Okay, sige po, wait po natin yung answers ng iba. Okay, meron pa po ba? Mostly letter C po ang sagot. Pero may nagsasabi pong letter D or none. Okay po. Okay, so simplify the most recurring number. By inspection, we saw that all three numbers, 1, 2, and 3, occurs three times. So lahat po ng number ay nag, nag ay lumabas ng three times. Therefore, there is no mode or the set of number is said to be non-modal. Yung pong mga nagsagot ng 1, 2, 3, pwede po yan kung meron pa pong ibang number. Kunwari, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2 3, 3, 3, 4, 4. Tapos 5, ganyan po. Pwede pong 1, 2, 3 yung sagot, trimodal. Pero dahil sila lang po yung tatlong numbers, tapos 3 times din sila pong umulit, so wala pong lumamang. Wala pong naging most frequent sa kanilang tatlo. So de uh, therefore, the answer is none. Okay, kasi po parang pantay-pantay pa rin po silang lahat. Parang yung sa non-modal kanina, di ba, walang umulit dun sa kanina nating example, walang umulit. So, non-modal. Dito naman po, tatlong beses umulit yung tatlong number. So, parang tay lang sila. So, there is no mode or non-modal. Okay? Okay po. Yun po yung explanation dito. Nuggets po ba natin yung number 19, yung explanation kung bakit non-modal or no mode? Okay, last number po mga chairs. Okay, find the range. Okay, so ito madali lang po ito. Find the range lang po ito from this set of numbers. 46, 98, 56, 98, 36, 95, 58, 33, 98, and 77. So range lang po ang hinahanap. So is it letter A, 72, B, 65, C, 98, or D, 66? Okay, last number na po ito. Range lang po ang hinahanap. Kunin lang po natin yung uh, pinakamalaking number and subtract it to the lowest number in the set. Okay, letter B, majority letter B. Okay, letter B, 65, 65, 65. Okay, letter B. Majority po ng answers natin is letter B. Okay, may hahabol pa po ba? Okay, so if we arrange the numbers in numerical sequence, we will get 33, 36, 46, 56, 58, 77, 95, 98, 98, and 98. So the highest number is 98, the lowest number is 33. So to find the range, we just subtract the highest number and the lowest number. So, 98 minus 33 is 65. So, the answer is letter B. Okay. So, good job po mga chairs. So, dun po natatapos yung drill natin. And by request po, balikan lang po natin yung graph ng positive and negatively skewed. Okay. Okay. So, ito po. Thank you din po sa 
inyong time ng pagre-review natin ng Mean Media and Mode, no? So, discuss ko lang po ng mabilisan itong uh, tungkol sa skewness, okay? So, kapag po kasi yung distribution is normal, pag sinabing the distribution is normal or yung set of numbers, ayan, ay nasa normal distribution, ibig sabihin po, ang mean, median, and mode niya ay isang number lang. Okay? At yun yung nasa peak. So, kung titignan po natin dun sa first, meron ba akong pointer? Pointer. Okay. Okay po, okay. Dito po sa, uh, pag sinabi po nating normal distribution, yeah, normal distribution, yung mean, median, and mode ay isang number lang po at yun ay nasa peak. Okay, nasa gitna. Paano ba mag-erase? Ang pangit. Eraser. Yun. Okay. Kapag sinabi naman pong ayan. Uh, pag sinabi naman po nating skewed to the left. Okay. So, left side. So, yung mostly yung mga scores or yung number nung set natin ay nasa right side. Kapag po right side, yun po yung mga mas matataas na numbers. Okay. Pointer. Okay, di ba ito po, ito po yung sa zero eh, sa zero na mark, sa y-axis and then the x-axis. Pag sinabi po nating negatively skewed, mostly po yung distribution nandito po sa, saan po? Dito po sa left side. Okay, tapos yung pa-flat po nandito towards the Uh, dito po sa mas mabababang value sa zero. Kabalik tara naman po ng positively skewed. Si positively skewed naman po, yung distribution, yung mga numbers na halos nandito sa mababang value. Kaya po di ba yung mga academically poor students ay skewed to the right. Kasi karamihan ng scores ay nandito sa mas mababang value. Yung mas malapit po dito sa zero ng y-axis. Ah, mas malapit po siya sa y-axis. Ang value po niyan sa x-axis ay 0. So, doon po nakakompress yung mga scores nila. Kaya po, academically po yung students. Okay, so positive skewness yun or right skewed. Parehas lang po yun. Yung ibig sabihin ng positive skewness at saka yung right skewed. Okay. Kapag po normal distribution ulit, mean, median, and mode are all the same, are equal. Tapos, hindi nag-skewed to the left, hindi nag-skewed to the right. So, yun po. So, that concludes my topic po about mean, median, and mode. I hope po na may natutunan at uh, bumalik po yung uh, pag... Uh, Natut um, may natutunan po at naalala po natin yung tungkol sa mean, median, and mode. At saka po, good luck po sa inyo, mga future teachers. So, fighting po. Stay safe po. And thank you po. Bye-bye po, mga teachers. Thank you. Sir A. Teacher A, thank you. Ay, saglit. May humabol na tanong. Wait lang po. Tanong po, ma'am. Ano po ang performance po ng bata pag nasa left at sa right? Tang mabilis lang po. Ano? Ulitin ko lang po. Okay po. Ganito na lang. Para po, ano, tatandaan na lang po natin. Ano po? Kapag Poor, academically poor or mabababa yung score ng student skewed to the right or positively skewed. 
Okay? Poor students skewed to the right, positively skewed. Iisa lang po yun. Yun na lang po yung tandaan. Kapag naman po yung uh, matataas yung score ng students. Okay? So, good performing student, students, uh, left skewed, negatively skewed. Yan. Good performance. Okay? Para po kay ma'am Teb Manuel. Yun po. Okay po? Thank you po. Thank you po ulit sa mga viewers. Okay. So, first time ko po mag-live. Kaya po, uh, pagpasensya nyo na po yung ganito. No? Okay. So, first time po. Thank you po sa inyong lahat. Thank you po. Thank you po. God bless po. God bless.